the newly appointed director of King Sejong Institute at IUB. I would now like to call upon the floor the head of the Department of Media and Communication, Professor Zakir Hassan Raju, PhD, to give his valuable overview on the two institutes. Thank you, everyone. Honorable Minister of Education, Dr. Dipu Mani, His Excellency Ambassador Lee Jang Kyun, our Chairman of Board of Trustee IUB, Mr. Abdul Hai Sharkar, Vice Chancellor Tanvir Hassan, PhD, our Pro Vice Chancellor, Professor Niaz Ahmed Khan, and Mr. Million Park, representing Korean community in Bangladesh. This is a very happy occasion for us here at IUB. We have many dignitaries in front of us in this auditorium. We have ESTCDT Chair, Ms. Nidufar Jafullah, Ms. Hosniara, Mr. Rashid Choudhury, Mr. Altamash Kabir, Mr. Javed Hussain, Ms. Yasmin Kabir, all the important leaders of the Visionary Trustee Board of Independent University, Bangladesh. I have my esteemed colleagues, professors, deans, head of the departments, lecturers, and also my dear students. This is a very special occasion for us. We are opening up two new institutes. One is King Sejong Institute, and another one is called Window on Korea, which is a resource center as a part of IUB library. Both of these are Korean government initiatives which they are establishing all around the world. Uh, within the time frame, what I will try to do, I'll give you, you know, a very quick overview and uh, let me begin with what are these two uh, institute and resource center means. I think here, uh, as many of my young students here, when we talk about or think about South Korea or Republic of Korea, we immediately think about BTS, Blackpink. For some people, it may be the film Parasite. For someone, it may be Squid Games. For somebody a bit older, it may be Winter Sonata, the Korean drama that made its way like 20 years back to Japan and began what we call Hallyu or Korean cultural wave in all over the world. From Japan, going through many other corners, actually probably, you know, from uh, most of the corners of the world, Korean popular culture is now very popular. But of course, Korea is not only popular culture. It has its language, it has its very strong political and social history. And that is why at Independent University, we are setting up King Sejong Institute, which is one of the first institute in Bangladesh. Uh, as part of Korean Ministry of Culture and Tourism, they have established like 244 King Sejong Institutes all over the world, in North America, in Europe, in various parts of Asia and Africa. And this is one of the first that is being set up here in Dhaka. We are very happy that we partnered with the Embassy of South Korea in Dhaka, and we are able to set up this on Korea. We won a competitive grant back in 2021 to set up this uh, resource center. We won a $20,000 grant as well as books. If you visit our library, the corner, and uh, after a few minutes, we will be showing a video on the corner, and you will see that already 3,000 books on various aspects of Korean culture, history, politics, uh, mostly in English and also in Korean language, these are here. Under the King Sejong Institute, we are inviting 
uh, two native Korean instructors who will come to independent university and who will be offering courses in Korean language, both for our students at IUB and also for outside public. My uh, part will not be complete if I don't tell you how all these things happened. Let me remember the uh, arrival of two important people in Dhaka, say two years back during the deep time of coronavirus. One is His Excellency Lee jang kyun in, I think, uh, early 2020, just after corona began, uh, he arrived and took up this position as ambassador of uh, South Korea to Bangladesh. W within a while, uh, his office assigned me to prepare a report on how to develop more congenial relationship between Bangladesh and South Korea. And eventually, uh, when coronavirus was a bit, you know, uh, giving its way, then we had time to meet and we started discussing many plans. But we were not able to go much further. February 2021, our Vice Chancellor Tanvir Hassan arrived in Dhaka and took up our leadership here at IUB. Within a short while, uh, he galvanized the whole process. Actually, uh, I must say that uh, with the vision and uh, momentum drive of Professor Tanvir Hassan, uh, we could get both of these projects together. And I must salute uh, both uh, Professor Tanvir Hassan here and uh, Ambassador Lee Jang Kyun, who are on stage for making this happen. I must also respect uh, my tribute to two other earlier Korean ambassadors in Dhaka, Ambassador An Seng Do and Ambassador Yoon Young Lee, who have visited IUB and who have supported many of our Korean programs. And I must also salute our trustee member, Mr. Rashid Choudhury, who actually introduced me. When I returned from Korea, uh, I was uh, serving as a visiting professor in National University of Korea in 2014, after I returned to Dhaka, this was uh, Mr. Rashid Choudhury who actually introduced me to Ambassador Yoon Young Lee here uh, in Dhaka. So uh, this is, I think, uh, the reflection of what kind of long and you know uh, war relationship we are having with Korea. And uh, I think uh, my last beat will be uh, why we are doing this, let's say. When I think about South Korea, this is a country of like, you know, 51 million people, less than 1% of the world population. But if we look at the resilience of these people coming out of the you know, ashes of Korean War in the 1950s, how South Korea became one of the most important economic powers of the world, I think under the leadership of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and uh, including her able ministers, the way Bangladesh is progressing, we have lots to uh, share and learn uh, because we are also resilient. Bangladesh is also born out of a bloody liberation war and it is now going to a more brighter future. So it cannot be more opportune time for Bangladesh and South Korea when we come together and we work together for the betterment of both the countries. And I think here at IUB, through these projects and institutes, that is what we are doing. I think uh, I'm looking forward to more uh, you know, success and more uh, hearty relationship with South Korea, between Bangladesh and South Korea. So uh, let me stop here. Thank you so much. Joy Bangla.